Uh, g'day and welcome to another Let's Talk. Today I've got Fizz and Jeanette with me and they're going to share some of their story. Welcome you guys. Thanks for being part of this. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having us. us. Yeah, it's a privilege. Tell us a bit about you. Tell us a bit about you, Fizz. Okay, so um, Fizz, this is my wife um, Jeanette. We have two beautiful children. Yep. Um, we've been with Life Gate uh, for two, uh, a year now. Yeah. Um, we've come from New Zealand and... Um, Where yeah. New Zealand did you come from? Uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Why did you come to Australia? Uh, this is our third time <laughs> moving third to, time. <laughs> to Australia. Oh, wow. Uh, the other two, we moved to Brisbane. Um, but I think we, when we moved the other two times, we didn't move with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the third time, I think we had got, got in the centre of our plans and everything was just falling into place for us here in Sydney, and we love it. Mm. Wonderful. Do you want to add anything to that, Janet? Yeah, um, like Fuzz was saying, it's the third time that we've mm. moved to Australia. Um, the first two times, um, as he mentioned as well, it's because God wasn't here, mm -hmm. wasn't in our plans. Um, but this time we feel that God was at the centre of it all mm. because it was nudging on our hearts to move back to Australia. We just... We thought, okay, we can't go to Brisbane again. Um, mm. Let's try Sydney. My brother lives here, so it okay. kind of made sense. Um, and it's been a good, it's been amazing. Wow. It has been, yeah. Great. So you said you've been part of Lifegate Church for the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. What's been your experience? It's funny how it all came about. Um, I was actually going to the cheesecake shop yeah. just <laughs> next door. Yeah. And um, that time we didn't have a car, so I had to catch the train and I had to. we had to find a church that will be able to access by public mm -hmm. transport. So as I was going to the cheesecake shop, I saw the sign and um, I took a photo of it and then I, oh. I sent it to my wife. She was in New Zealand yeah, at that time. Zealand. Um And I said, hey, I think I found a church. Let's check this church out nice. and see how we go. And yeah, ever since, oh, everybody here has been awesome and mm -hmm. friendly and welcoming and we just yeah. felt comfortable here. Yeah. yeah, well, because we, we um, more myself, I'm a, I was born in a, um, brought up in a Christian home. Um, so we had a church back in New Zealand. It was, um, it, it was a Samoan church, mm -hmm. so the language barrier was a bit hard for us to understand. Um, it's our family church. So when we left for the third time to come back to Australia, all they asked or prayed for was that, please find a church for our kids so that they can, you know, grow up in the gospel and know God more. And that's kind of what made us stay at LifeGate, mm -hmm. was the fact that the kids' ministry it's so wonderful, and our kids from that first Sunday we came, they were blown away. Like they're like, "Mummy, Daddy, it was so much fun. Yeah. We want to come back." And then that that week after the first time we visited church, they were constantly reminding us, "Is it church? Is it Sunday? Is it Sunday?" <laughs> um, so that's where we knew yeah. God was definitely there, and it was just where we had to be. Wow. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your faith journey. Um, we actually have one now. <laughs> um, yeah, like. Like I mentioned, um, in our family, it was kind of... So our families are not religious, but they do have that kind of traditional aspect where the church they go to, kids follow. You know, mm -hmm. follow mum and dad to the church where, where we're going to. And that's kind of where it was in New Zealand. And being here in Australia where it's just ourselves to answer to, um, it's been great to come to church on our own based on what we want to come by, um, and that's where we've actually developed a real strong relationship with God, because it's um, it's we've never we've never felt this way before. Mm. Yeah, so it's been amazing. Yeah, that's great. How mm. about you, Fizz? How would you describe your journey of faith? Um, I've, this is the closest I've ever yeah. been with with God in a relationship with God, mm. and I love it. Like. All our burdens or all our worries and our struggles, we just give it up to God, and um, God just provides for us. Like um, ever since this COVID all happened, um, we had no fear. Oh, we had fear, but it was in our in the back of my mind. But we just had to read our word and um, trust in God that God's going to provide us um, during this time. Like, I, I was going to lose my job as well, but um, I was going to, we were thinking, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to pay our rent? Oh my gosh, we've got no family here. We just got her mm -hmm. brother here, but um, we just um, prayed about it and um, just had a stronger relationship with God. And um, yeah. I think yeah. the deeper we dived into God's word, 
that gave us the understanding that God is, the, is with us. Like, mm. that's all we need yes. um, through, the, you know, through all the obstacles that we face in life. God truly is the one that um, we can turn to and will, will get us through the whole, you know, mm. like this. It's really been a true testament of what God can do for us because he's taken away all that worry and that fear that yes. we naturally had felt due to, you know, um, what was happening in our lives. Um, but, yeah, it's just so many miracles and stuff like that have happened. Blessings. Very, yeah. yeah. It's been awesome. wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing a bit about your journey with us. Thank God you. bless you guys, and thanks Thank for being you. part of another Let's Talk.